Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Sinmar Civilization Revolution as the Germans. Once again, this is not live. Um, it won't be live till hopefully episode 4, otherwise I'm going to have to do those as well, which is annoying. But here I'm going okay. They're there. Um, I can move here safely, because I'm hoping there's no one there. Yes, safe. Okay, so if they give chase and don't put a guy in front of me, as long as they don't move in front of me, but move straight at me, I will be fine. And here I'm going, okay, I gotta go find these wonders and <gasps> Goody Hut! Nice! Now we get a caravan, which is kind of like, really? And they go, oh, there's a another wonder up there. To the north, again, which is weird. And here I moved over here just to make sure, to make sure. <gasps> yes, okay, so now I can go over there and sneak in. I won't Oh no, they've got two great people in there. <laughs> Yes, we got David! Yes! Victory! I don't know why the English always seem to get David. It's kind of strange. I'm going, oh yeah. Gotta get him back over here. But this is looking sweet. And here I forgot to bring my uh, militia. Dope. I'm going, oh, another goodie hut on the same little island? Well, that's rare. I'm going, okay, we'll just let my caravan out and grab that. <laughs> they must be ticked. And here they offer me pottery for democracy. The, uh, the uh, Athenians do. I'm going, oh, that is such a good deal. That is insanely a good deal. And yeah, we'll change. You go grab that goodie hut. And then, yeah, there's the other wonder. I'm going, okay, and I'll get back to my boat. Sweet. And then, yeah, the militia gets back to my boat. And the boat's going to go to the left, because that's where everything is. Okay, granary's been built in Berlin, so that'll help growth. And here I'm going, okay, well now we definitely want a barracks. So I was wondering, which city to put it in? Should I put it in there or there? Well, I realize that Berlin has more population, as well as, as, well as more food. But I forgot <laughs> about the whales, and about the harbor, and about the fact that I'm going to have a ton of production once I get more people in there in general. Because here I only have one food. So I'm going, yeah, you're not going to grow very fast. I think in the end it did end up having about the same... But I wasn't sure, so I decided to just go okay, throw a barracks in there. So now I'm getting... Or throw a market, because I, I decided, yeah. I changed my mind. Which is causing me confusion. Um, Which is, get gold, make that city a gold city, and just focus that one to be economic. And here I'm going, oh my gosh, there are barbarians right there, what the heck. Because Greece like, did not make any military units. And here we get ceremonial burial. Which is good. Here I'm going, okay, what do I get next? Um, what did I get next? Construction, right, because I wanted to get, um, I think the workshop, I think that's what, what it is. Uh, David's on his way. There I'm going, you know what, I need a temple. Bigly. And just rush that build, build the temple. I really need to boost my culture because I realize I might be able to get the uh, I might be able to get Denver to convert. And here we are, and David comes out, and he's now in my territory. Sweet. Now I'm going, okay, now we can just have them go explore. Okay, David, you need to go to my capital. Because I know Berlin was going to grow really fast. But... And then Paris is giving me more gold. 
for a 75 gold compared to 50. I could have just sent it to Athens, but it doesn't really matter. And they want democracy for masonry. That's not a fair exchange at all. Activate superpower. Settle David in Berlin. And here we get metallurgy. Holy cow! We just got David, and we get a f metallurgy and a free cannon unit. We know we don't even have catapults yet, and we got a cannon unit. So going. Yeah, yo. So I go here. Scouter blitz. Um, I'll take blitz. No, I'm not worried about getting attacked. If I get attacked, I can hold them off because I got a cannon. So I have slight advantage when it comes to all the stats. And here he wants all that stuff. And I go, nope. So war. Dude, I just have got a cannon what the heck and then over there over there I'm pretty sure that's the Tower of Babylon and I'm pretty sure I've already met everyone so it's kind of useless they're going oh my gosh you're moving towards the enemy don't do that so I'm not sure if caravans can be captured I think they can but I definitely don't want to give money to my enemies I'm going isn't that an enemy yes it is okay attack overrun you noobs And I'm now the cultural leader, which is so nice. Hang on, okay, just go ahead and go back to... I thought, you know what? Go talk to Washington. Why not? You're going, you went over there. Are you kidding me? And then, yeah, we just got the Tower of Babylon. Or Babel. Babylon. Tower of Babylon. That's stupid. It's the Tower of Babel. I'm going, okay, well, there's the peace ray up there, but there appears to be no way to get to it. Um, so, I guess just keep exploring that way. Hopefully find a way to get to the north. And then, um, just continue, um, and go down. From there, go across the top of the world. Yeah, and then we got construction, which is nice. And workshop has been built in Bremen. So nice. So nice, so nice. Uh, next tech, masonry. Get that out of the way. And temple's been built. We now have a good amount of culture. Here we're going, oh, workshop? Maybe? Yeah, we'll go to workshop. Boost up that production there. And now, he's got... It's only got... It says it's only got six production, which is weird, because it's definitely got more than that. And they want to um, exchange those two. Which is, that's a fine trade for me, personally. Athens is really good when it comes to science. See, now I've got eight production, not six. And I'm going, oh, I should have put him over here, but nah, no matter. It's fine. And I'm now the tech leader, which is what kind of surprised me because I wasn't really focusing too tech techy. I'm going okay. Let's get a market going because we were kind of built that before, but the temple got in the way. I I did realize that I could have um, tried to steal that great builder from America, but I was a little bit busy with everything else, and I figured they probably already have spies, meaning I have to form a spy ring, which would have been annoying to do at this point in the game because I just want to focus mainly on expansion. And I'm going, oh my gosh, they're building the hanging gardens there. My, my. We got masonry. And next would be... Horseback riding, just to get it out of the way. And here we go, okay, fine, we'll send you to Athens. And go, oh, there's Atlantis. Excellent, we now know where Atlantis is. I'm going, <gasps> no, Athens has a uh, galleon. 
I'm saying that's bad because I don't have one. And I know exactly where Atlantis is. So at this point, I'm going, okay, um, let's talk to you. Yes, let's be at peace. Can you spare your technology? Yes, I can buy it from you. Sweet. Let's buy it. I need it now. Plus, it gives me the whales, too, which is awesome. Even though it was 200 gold. And we're going, okay. Uh, you, build me a galleon. And, yes, I can rush it. Sweet, rush it. And then I'm out of money, so build me a market. And then the galleon. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I was trying to see if I could take uh, David out or something, some way to get a great present out of the city, but nope. If there is, I just don't know about it. So I'm going, okay, let's just have you find... There it is. Just go to it as fast as you can. Going, yes, they're going the opposite direction. So lucky. I'm going, wow, they finished the, light, the uh, Lighthouse of Alexandria. Which is weird, because it's definitely not... Um, where... It's nowhere near the coast. It's a whole tile away, I think. It's kind of funny. We got horseman units. Next would be whatever I got. And they want metallurgy for um, religion. I'm going, I'd like religion, but um, I don't want to trade you military tech that's more advanced than my own tech. Because I don't even have catapults yet. Even if you do have catapults, I'm not going to give you cannons. And then the French want David. I'm going, why? It makes no sense. You're not a threat to me at all. Even though I have, like, no military at this point. I have just have a cannon and a warrior army. Or at this point, it's a legion army. And, um, an archer. That's it. That's all I got. And here, I'm going, is America going to attack us? Oh, America's not at war with us. Oh, boy. Oh, no, you should finish that. Both of you should finish those. Boost up your production. And then I'm checking to see its stats. I'm going, I don't think you can take a, um, uh, archers alone. I wasn't sure, but I didn't want to risk losing it. I'm going, no, he's going back. There, they're just a warrior that's not even veteran. Oh, excuse me, I'm tired. A warrior is not even veteran is coming to attack me. Which is stupid. So, yeah, cannon. It has the same stats as my, uh, Warrior army did before with um, it's definitely the same as my legion. I'm pretty sure Let's well, let's think about this My legion army I believe it's two attack one defense three is six fifty percent is nine So they're at least as strong as my legions when they attack my friendly terror. They're definitely stronger So I'm going okay, and I need to build some cannons then And now uh, the city's just flourishing. I'm going, oh, I'm bummed out. Go ahead and build the harbor. Focus on the water tiles. The courthouse next. The Americans are now at peace with the French. And they actually wouldn't attack me, which is kind of funny. And the ones that defended were my Legion army, too. It wasn't my, uh... Other units here. Yeah, I got blitz. Nice. Going. Oh wow! Look at that army. And then they built. Oh my gosh! They built the hanging gardens there, and I'm being attacked from all sides. But I'm not worried about anything. I mean, they're just archers. 
here she's asking for Dave, and I'm going <laughs> over my dead body. Now the English are at war with me. So now I'm thinking I probably should get that peace ray. Because the peace ray causes peace with everybody. And now I can move into the uh, borders of England, unfortunately, that means I die. So we got catapults. We got uh, monarchy going, you know, we'll keep what we got right now. Plus one production each city. I'm going, okay, this is looking pretty decent. I'm, I'm realizing that, okay, well, if I do this correctly, and if I do get ready to attack um, the French, I will uh, be able to walk right up to, to their city, take all those cities. Hopefully not have to worry about the English and then take out America. Maybe. I mean, I wasn't trying to play very aggressive. But I was going to see what was going to happen. Yeah, the cannon's got three victories, so now we'll give him Scout. And... Boom. And the Greeks discovered I'm going. So, okay, there we go. Now we're at peace with everybody. So now I'm going, okay, I just need to build up my military a little bit. And we'll be all set to go. Because now I'm going, like, they're going to be total jerks to me. And I, I have amazing units. I don't have to take that from them. The English border is just huge. So what do you got? Uh, blitz infiltration. Give you a blitz. And you know what? They've got three bonuses, so I'll just farm them anyway. So there we have a um, cannon army. So all I need now is to build defensive units. Um, one for my uh, each of my cities, and then one for my attacking force, as well as for any other cities I'm going to need. So we're going, okay, let's go ahead and build those pikemen up. Actually, what was I going to build first? Oh. No, I went for pikemen because I was just seeing if I should have needed to build any um, buildings. That's not the case. I'm just going to start pumping out pikemen. Um, scout engineer. I gave him engineer. Because that's generally what I immediately shoot for. Scout's actually really good to have if he's with the attacking force. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless, but... We would see its efficiency. And then, leadership. That sounds really good. And then Paris replaces London as the world's greatest city. I'm going, really? That's interesting. And we got a great person. And he's going to be gold-oriented, so I just sent him down to Bremen. And pop him there. And this guy we upgrade. We got one with leadership. Let's give him March. Not necessary, but still not bad of a unit. I think I separated them out so that I could um, give specific upgrades for different um, types of units. I think, I think for example, I think I took the March guy out so that he could be with my uh, attacking force. And the harbor, which is good. I'm going okay. Let's build the aqueduct, boost that growth, make sure you get huge. And upgrade. No, I didn't. Um, loyalty or medic? Well, medic. And then I gave. Did I form this army? Yeah. So it was leadership, medic, 
and march. So that he can move real fast, hold his ground with people behind him, and heal anywhere. But anyway, this is nearing the end of the video. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and God bless.